Good morning, welcome to 59 Minutes. My name is Levi Kones. It is Thursday. We do talk about matters to do with inspiration and to join us today in telling us about his stories. A gentleman who is not new to this panel. We've been talking every Monday on the Monday Roundup. He has been saying he's running for president. He is now planning to go and actualize that. Jaziel Jao. Thank you, sir. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jassian Jao. Uh, finally, presidential aspirant uh, for this year. And uh, we are now going to hit the ground running. Time has come. And now is. Yeah, Jaziel. Yes, sir. <laughs> you know, for some, it's been like a joke, maybe. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Say, I consider school a nice story. <laughs> when they ask me, oh, that guy you're carrying on that show, is he? Yeah. Just tell me. Uh, oh, where does your story start from? Uh, since now they need to know their presidential candidate. Mm. Jassiel Njau is a firstborn among four siblings. And uh, Jassiel Njau is a political preacher. Mm -hmm. And uh, Jassiel Njau is married uh, to Queen. Joan and uh, a father of two, <coughs> one in, one out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one in is current, mm -hmm. one out is former. So a father of two girls. Uh, other than that, uh, my passion is uh, uh, there was one tombstone of a man who made an impact in his time mm. in the early century. And when he was asked when he died, when he dies, uh, what would he like to be inscribed upon the tombstone? Mm. You know what he said? He, he said he would want to be remembered that he was a blessing to the many nations. Jassian Zhao running for office will be a blessing. The yeah. many nations. Tell me a bit about your ups and downs in life uh, <coughs> to, to lead you to this place where you can aspire to want to go to the highest office of the land. There's what, a, there, yeah, there's what a, informs you? What there, you bring you? There is a book. There is a book I'm reading. Mm. Uh, and uh, this book is, known, uh, is actually going to be launched in May. And the heading of the book is There is no useless experience. Uh, I think I think you're related because the guy is called Levi Kones. One of the things I've appreciated about there's no useless experience. In the journey of life, in the journey of life, for even you to get me to this place where I'm saying I'm running for president, it was never in my wildest dreams. All right? But just like you know you're heading from Nairobi to Mombasa, you know the destination. The aspects of the journey as you're driving in your car is only as far as your headlights can be. And as you progress, you are able to uh, cover the mileage on your way to Mombasa. It's the same thing as I'm running for president. My journey starting way back, it wasn't this focused. It wasn't this illuminated. But as you progress on knowing that there's something that you were born with, because this is Inspirational Thursday, there's something you were born with. And as a political preacher, Jeremiah 1 verse 5, before I formed you in your mother's womb, I knew you and I ordained you to become. If you know what you will become, then you are able to appreciate the journey, the process towards progress. But I think most of, most, most of the times people... Uh, navigate through life without a sense of direction, without a sense of compass. And so they never get to that point where they know what they were meant to become. If you do it later in life, like I always say, there are two kinds of people. There are early bloomers and late bloomers. Early bloomers bloom early, and you'll find them in the sports, you'll find them uh, in the arts, in the creative, you'll find them there. In the late bloomers, you'll find them in leadership, the doctors, you know, the lawyers, so and so. So it is a question of if you can begin to hone your skills early in life, 
you'll be able if to know if you're an early bloomer how do i run the course of my life to the late to my late uh, age and if i'm a late bloomer how do i persevere in patience till i get to that place let me give an example i was in form i think form two uh, uh, a life of partying you know sharing a killer kid and i used to go for this tuition where your father is hoping you will change and i remember one time my dad asked me what vision do you have for your life i was a vision in me about that you don't know what a vision is going to be a dream vision in on the contrary i am in a class with a guy i cannot forget his name he was called karanja a chop i mean he's a bookworm and when the guy was asked he kept saying i'll be the president of kenya so i was very clear at the say i was expecting to see him as one of my opponents mm. and my point is in this journey and understanding the stories of life now i'm able to articulate what is my vision where i'm headed but it wasn't so it wasn't so from the beginning so in understanding there is no useless experience is to appreciate the process of the journey towards the progress and understanding what is your dna what is your makeability what were you called for what is it that you have that brings an edge and makes you sit at the table all right tell me yes sir in 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 uh, understanding you and the reason why you are here where you are in terms of uh, you know your aspiration people would say you know jazeera scale down uh-huh and then i mc a go uh-huh or be an mp go or be i have a friend who attempted to be the governor of of Nyeri in 2013 and failed dismally you know and went to the people and the people told him they wanted money and you know they uh, tried to get him to uh, dish out uh, bribes to them and things like that and eventually said you know forget about it let me just go back to what i was doing people get discouraged because they look also then then there is the other perception you know you look you say there's the big boys right like is running uh Ruto is running So chances uh, are you know one of the two of them is probably our next president the rest are wasting time you know in uh, quotes and uh, say you know why why even try what are you trying for why the presidency why not something else in 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 just kila mtu angangane na hali yake kama hali yako ni mp ngangana na hali yako kama hali yako ni mc ngangana na hali yako <laughs> kama yako ni rais ngangana na hali yako right that's in jest yeah, what's the serious line about it okay ah huh? ngangana because here's the thing yeah and like uh, it's good we are, we are getting to that point when somebody asked me and i answered him that well it's like me but let's go and expect you because you're trying to get me to give you a logical answer let me start from mc then i'll come to mp then i'll come to governor so yeah. it looks like the trajectory natural projection yeah the trajectory to the presidency has a has a silver lining and has a uh, has a highway you know yeah. it's like this it goes this way but y- If if you've gone through life to realize there's no useless experience I'm also bringing to the table the detours of life. I know. The detours. You is, know Barack Obama upsets that. Uh, but, uh, yes, yes, yes. You know he, he came in he came in went for senate went for senate and went for the big senate. And then after he went for senate you know even when he was going he was told you know you're a first time senator. Yeah. You're even a junior senator. Yeah. You need to be a a senior senator. Do you know how long Biden was senator? Uh-huh. before he became vice president. Mm-hmm. Huh? Mm-hmm. Biden became senator in 1971 and became Obama's pri- uh, vice, vice president vice president in 2008. Uh-huh. And eight. uh-huh. Yeah? Uh, l- l- let's so that our viewers understand to be president of America yeah. is to be president of the African continent yeah. not That's just 38 ten. years. That's 38 years. Yes. He he served. Yes. And then you have Obama who, who just came who here. served 4 years and became his boss. and ran for a whole continent. <laughs> okay? and, 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 and what people are forgetting, and, what people are forgetting. Yeah. And this is what somebody asked me. Okay? And, and somebody said just and so then uh, the was not served. Yes. And is coming in to serve. The dynamics are different. Because now somebody asked me so 
uh, have you put in the work, you know, to qualify being president? And I looked at him and said, what I've put in is not what you're looking for. But what I've put in is what is needed for. All right? For example, how many times did Barack fail doing community organizations, nobody endorsing him, but he kept on coming back again? If there's one thing I've read uh, from this book I've loved, is uh, uh, there's, uh, there's a pastor who said, uh, if you feel like you have failed, just, uh, I'm forgetting the mm. name, put your hands on your chest. Can you hear the thumping? Can you hear? That shows we can still do it again. So when guys fail, like the guy who ran for government and says, let me go back to what mm. I'm doing, you are forgetting for our new viewers, they need to understand, well, since we've been here for about four months, four, five months, uh, there are three kinds of people, my father once told me. Walo wa meitwa, walo wa lijita, na walo wa litika na wa kuitwa. Mwini 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 mgani? Mwini meitwa. Ikitu watu jajifunza hii. Mwumeitwa na nani? Hini meitwa. Jehovah. Nasi wanyonji. Jehovah. <laughs> right? yes, 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 so, yes, yes. here's the thing. The, uh? Here's the thing. Now, when I say we're ground, you don't want to come back here again. Ah, no, no. Sasa, we're under ground. You are too amino on here. Sasa, we're serious. This is it. Yeah, okay, yeah. this is it. All right? And this is it. Mm. When, when, when you're looking for, uh, for my path to the presidency as, as the beauty of life, the beauty of life is not scientific. It's art. Yeah. One plus one is two, all right? But when you go to an art gallery, and then you find, paint, mkono, migu, nini, mzungu look at that, that's, that's awesome. That's creativity right there. Creativity gani, ni art. When you're looking for, to escalate in matters of positions in life, all right? Don't look for the science, there's an art. But you know, so here's my, here, here's my thing. Yeah. I am coming into the scene, Mm. Uh, Jao, the element of surprise you didn't see me coming because I wasn't in your radar All right, I am coming into the scene offering fresh ideas fresh leadership because I've always opined my two opponents and now it has come to that place is only Baba and the DP and I started, started hearing DP since I was in class 4 now I'm 40 I've been hearing about Baba since I started eating Gideri. Now I'm 40. What, I, I don't see anything fresh they can bring to the yeah. table. You know, the, uh, that was my next question because I'm going to ask you. Yeah. You know, a, sto a, sto a story is told. Yeah. Of, uh, uh, it's a tale eh? yeah. of, uh, a young, of a king who had a very beautiful daughter. And uh, he also had a pool with crocodiles in it. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. And he calls all these young men in the land and he wants a suitor for his daughter. Whoever sweet. Yes, and he says, whoever gets through this thing <laughs> is going to, yeah. to marry my daughter. And before he finishes saying, whoever swims, kuna, kuna mtu wa kondani. A kondani. Na na pita ma crocodile, yeah. na karibu wa naumu wa linia, yeah. tokea the side of the king goes to him and he says, you know, I've seen how you have, you know, defeated these crocodiles. <clears throat> and I want to give you my hand in daughter in mind. And the guy is like, ah, me I don't even want that. Me I just want to know. Who pushed me? <laughs> <laughs> Who pushed you? Man. You know, as you, what pushed you? As you're talking that, as you're talking, as you're talking like that, I was, I was, that's the question. Who pushed me? And I, I, I need our viewers to That's understand. a title for a book too. Mm. I, I, I need our viewers to understand yeah. when it comes to matters faith. All right? When it comes to matters faith, for example, when somebody like Levi Gones has written a book, there's no useless experience. That man, to sit down, journal his, his, his life, write a book, in the event that he's going to encourage people outside there, that is faith. All right? Who pushed him is the one who gave him that faith. Because there are people who are sitting there and saying, I can't do anything about it. But where Levi was coming from, he has a witness that my life has not been without a person guiding me or leading me. So he wants to bring it out. It's the same thing. 
with the course of life. Uh, the other day, niliko uko ground, uko central. Unisema simange central, uko mm. central. Mm. And they said I'm running. It was a, a comment in jest, and this lady said, Ah, Nisawa, I don't know what to come and you pia ni mwingie mkule muske vlale gino na kwalaski and wale gine to atoe. But they are tired to the point they want somebody else who can just look like they will represent them. Alright? Who pushed me? He pushed me in 2017. I ran for president. Mm. Nilifika WhatsApp hata sikupita hapo. Mm -hmm. He pushed me in 2021. I ran for governor Nairobi. And in all that I gathered signatures around the county and I realized whatever he pushed me to in 2017 is a reality now. And now I'm back. And the good thing is... But I'm, why? Why? You know people say, okay, why do you want to be president? What is this that you want coming. to do as president I'm that coming. you cannot do? What? And do what? As, as, as a common man? Yeah, well, what is it? What, what are we doing? No, tell is the there, people. Is there anything we can do as a common man? There's mm -hmm. nothing. We need, we need power. Why? Because where Kenya is at this moment, Kenya is at this moment, they need people who represent them. If Kenyans can find people who represent them, the nation is at a point where they need people who represent their issues and their interests. Kenya is not, is, is, is not a state for the minority. When, when you're pursuing leadership, you need to understand leadership is about servant leadership. It's not about bossy leadership. Leadership is about getting to serve the aspirations of the people. We were here with you one time and we, say, we, we checked out and said that the stats are showing over about 90% of the people in Kenya have less than 1 million shillings in the bank. 90%, 10%. Up above, who is representing the 90%? So, for me, when I know God has pushed me for this thing, I know God has pushed me, and He knows He has wired me, He has prepared me to serve the people, He has prepared me to bring servant leadership to the forefront, He has prepared me to be able to hear the needs of the people, and so I know with God all things are possible, and like we say it. I am coming in with my three contenders. It's, uh, uh, it's, there is a Saul, there is a Goliath, and there is a David. And I'm coming in. And we say it. Goliath, I'll be very clear, Israel, a power. Saul, deep root of might. I'm an Amlagani, my friends. And then you have Jesse and Jao. Not by power, not by might, but by the spirit of God. So I'm coming in with that faith that someone pushed me and knows I have what it takes to serve the people of Kenya, that when they look at me, Ronald Reagan was once asked by a media guy, yeah. why does everybody love you? Why? Why? And he said, if I told you, you'll not believe. And he said, tell us. He said, it's because when they see me, they see me in themselves. Kenya has got into that place. They need a candidate who, when they see, they will see themselves in him. You think so? You think yes. so? If, uh, you know, the challenges of this whole thing is you have got uh, the dragon of tribalism, you've got the dragon of, uh, how do I, chronism. There's one of... Uh, uh, Nepotism. Classism, even, because they, they will ask you, because of class, so they'll ask you, so what do you Nah. Go, 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 before before nah, we take go, 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 go. Ah, yeah? good, good. Two questions. I like that. Okonani. <laughs> <laughs> now Okonani. Now the question nah. of Okonani, I've always I've always espoused. Sinaka kitu. But nikona kitu ya ikiti. Je wewe ukonani jiunge na mimi. Sa. Sinaka kitu but nikona kitu ya ikiti. And the question again people say this thing takes a lot of cash to run. See, I'm going to say, I'm going One, I'm going to go to the moon. Okay? I'm going to go to the moon. I'm going to go to the So, answering those two questions, 
I'm coming from that point. And it's good people understand. When I went around about asking uh, signatures from guys uh, in terms of county, uh, they kept on asking me, so it was a kit. Na fly yang will come and go up or sinaka kitu, but nikona kitu a kit. You know what they say? They laugh. They say, ah, where for the leunaka to an him true? Where to dangani kuja ni kusainie? It's amazing how truth can help you where money can't. <laughs> it's a very, it's, a, it's amazing you say that because I think uh, the, the, the concept is, how do I put it? Is, um, is touching. You know, people say, okay, fine. We want a common person to run. Yeah. Usually they say, oh, we're tired of the usual names. You know, the people who have been there, we've been hearing them since uh, forever, and we want someone new. You'll hear it on the streets. Unfortunately, you know, in past elections even, when you look at the past elections, there are people who present themselves. Kinadida showed up. Uh, there was even a guy called Kukubo. Right here he's running again. Uh, you know, last time even Martha Karua was on the ballot. Uh, you know, uh, uh, last time, you know, you have, okay, let's remove Martha Karua. She may be a Kawaida name known on there. Kawaida in the sense that Kawaida in the political the circles. Political circle, yeah. uh, uh, quite, quite well known yeah. in those circles. Uh, let's go for the people whose names were not exactly on our lips to begin with. Uh, you know, uh, there was Kiapi who although it was part of the process, he wasn't really, you'd say, a well-known politician. Yeah. 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 There was a guy called Jaffa Isaac. You remember? Yeah. Yeah? He tried to run for uh, pre uh, presidency. The guy from state, yeah? Yeah, he's... Um, he came he, back. He's got a bit of a twang. Yeah. There was another, there was Kalundu. Yes. Huh? Uh, ka, 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 Kabia Kalundu uh, was also running. Yeah. Yeah? There was a lady who uh, has been running a lot of times. Uh, her name is, um, uh, oh, I forget, she's... Ule, ule, ule wa marabu marabu kule uh, coast. Coast. Yeah? Uh. yeah? Uh, and those people combined. Uh. So made, what difference is just... Made no dent. You know, there's, there's that perception. Do yeah. you ask, okay, fine. You talk about faith and you talk about, uh, you know, the time and God has pushed you. And that's, uh, you know, people say, okay, that's the good stuff. In a country that's predominantly Christian, even with Christians who throw themselves into the ring. Hmm? Yeah. You're here now, Kigame, my friend, is also in, in, uh, in the ring. The surprising thing is we have seen patterns where even Christians don't go for a Christian. They retreat and look at their tribes. Mm. And they say, you know, Jazil is my neighbor. Yeah. Chani uyu. Uh, Mimi, I've always been a Rao person. Apo. Me, I'm a Ruto person. That's the end of the story. What do you think is going to be different in this election? This election, uh, you've, asked, you've, you've touched on quite a few things. One, in matters Christians, matters, matters Christians, I would also bring it from gender. All right? Women perceived to be more than men. But they never elect their mm. own. 52%, they say. 52%. Yes. So Martha Karu would have been president 50 plus 1. Right? Well, but they never. That's, yeah, that's assuming uh, you're counting uh, all the women yeah. whose husbands are also running. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? so, Remove those ones, so, and the ones whose uncle is running, and the ones whose. Uh, so all these things. Remove that as 2%. All these things. Yeah. As a presidential candidate coming in, I need to also be encouraged that I'm not seeking Christian words. I'm seeking everyone. Because if I go for Christians, they're already in their cocoons. They already want the Baba and the DPs. Mm. What's going to be different this year, and I'll be judged in, in 21 days, I'll be judged on this, all right? In 21 days, I'll be judged on this as we present our papers to the IBC. Yeah, when are you doing that, by the way? I saw a, a thing here, and then I, for, I forget the dates. Eh? 28. Let me just, uh, it's uh, 28 parties to submit IBC names of general election candidates. Oh. Wait, for you presidential guys, eh? A nomination of independent presidential candidates by IBC. Are you independent? No. Unahuya na chama? 
Okay, na chama yenye utaki kusema bado you are still unasema narudi kwa ground kutulaunchia. Okay, party presidential candidates by IBC is on May 29th. No, 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 no. There is that, that is the ours is uh, April 28th. May 29th is now the nominations oh, April 28th ni delegates uh, conference. Uh, sasa direct nomination. Naona mm. kama uda vile imefanya yeah. na baba vile wamefanya. Mm -hmm. Sasa chama yetu mimi nenda ku present April 28th. Yeah, but you see the where on your joking. They are, so we are supposed to end nominations on 22nd. That includes nominating a presidential candidate. Presidential kokando. Hiyo ni ya hizo. Hao ni hawa. Eh, please. Ah, tuko levels. Hao ni wachama yetu, my MPs, hao ingine. Okay. My president ni 28th. Right. So, so hii chama tuta present. Uh, stand corrected. Yeah. Mm. So the, the, uh, our coming in, our coming in and presenting this, Levy, mm. I respect everyone who has ever run. I respect because some they come in with with different attributes, different desires. The one I'm bringing into the forefront at this particular juncture is to offer Kenyans, as they say, in the Queen's language, yeah, a change. Are we ready for that? Is as good as a rest. Are we ready for that? Last week, I think last week, but yeah. one. These Kenyans wait, 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 wait. Last week, change. but one. Yes. Last week, but one. Uh, is it InfoTrack? This the, the white guy. I'm forgetting the scene of it. Yes. They presented the facts that uh, a larger percentage of this nation and decided they are not between Baba. They are not between the DP. What does that portray? They are undecided. They are for grabs. They are for grabs. They are my people. <laughs> Fadela. <laughs> Fadela Fadili Mwenyeo. I like right. your confidence. So when, yes. when, when, <laughs> when you say and ask me that, uh, are they ready? The facts are there. The facts are there. The fact that they are decided. They are undecided. They are yes. waiting yeah. for me. In fact, I remember, uh, uh, let, let me give a story for our audience to understand. Remember when your car was not okay and uh, we, we, took a, we took a job with, with one of the mats and you were seated at the front with the driver. Yes. And uh, you, you asked the driver, so, niazimiwa mauda. And then, silently as, not by power, not by my but by the spirit, <laughs> I looked at the driver and said, what? I'm a, I'm a, what did I say? I'm an alternative. Mm. Because Kenya needs alternative leadership. The driver, wa mat, alisa manini, alternative. Alternative, yes. Sindio, uka niangaleo, uka sema. Yeah. <laughs> what did he say to Kishuka Mat? Yeah. Aka sema, una John Nineza kwa ni mekana the next president. Aka sema aje, Fadela. Kuni, ziko tayari. Siku ndo alisema? Mm. And a washer, Mot. Mot. Mm. Nika sema, to Kishuka, I'll never forget, to niangaleo, uka sema, yeah. It is too serious. He goes, "Well, we an interview. Oh, all the seriousness." The next week, what mm. happened? We were here. We finished the episode, and then I think it was your mom called, or you called your mom. And immediately after you called your mom, your mm. mom said, "Can I talk to that presidential candidate?" All the way from Transoya, I talked to her. Kizana yangu, unakuja grounds kugani. Chama ni gani? Ukala <laughs> kwenye atimamu na sema nini? So, wewe, as you're doing your duty of mm -hmm. interviewing me, it is now dawning on you. I like it in a reality. When we started these shows in November, it was uh, uh, my, my co-host, uh, just uh, tell the people. So I say, oh, guys, my name is, I'm running. By the 12th episode, Tenth episode. <laughs> In fact, one of the you want to say I'm a believer. Wait, 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 wait. One of the producers uh, came and said, "Allah, let me squeeze you, make you and we tell His Excellency." What am I trying to say? We have a majority of people, yeah. the Levy Coness, outside there, who have not interacted with me to imbibe the vision mm. and the articulation of the presidency, and they can go on YouTube and check the 13th episode, 13 episodes we've been doing. But when they see me, the Levy Coness outside there, they'll be like, that's our president. So for me, dealing with you has also been dealing with the minds of the people outside there. Mm. Because the, the eh, I must see. you guys, you don't know, dealing with this guy on this table, and the questions that keep coming. I was, it was, I was dealing with a stone wall 
So are you serious? Uh, now, by 11th episode, I'm the one saying, thank you, Levi. Thank you for believing in me. <laughs> because I got encouraged. You think I can't ask that? Even right now, I'm wondering. No. So are you serious? At least you're asking with a smile. <laughs> the first episodes, there was no smile. So when you ask me outside you're there, serious, Kenya is ready. And I, I want you. to tell Kenyans, Niko ready, nakuja kuwasha yo moto niliambiwa, kuni niko tayari. You know what I believe, Jazia? Yes, sir. I believe that we have not really lived if we have not tried out the things that are laid out in our heart to try out. Miles Munro said, live full, and die empty. You gotta try out. And he said, the you richest know, it's, place it's, 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 yeah. is the cemetery. Why? Because we have politicians who never became, presidents who never became, musicians, authors, because one thing was inhibiting them from getting into that place. True. Fear. And fear is the acronym for false evidence appearing real. While faith is the acronym for all invisible things happen. So you're standing on the realm of fear. Oh, if I do this, what will my children, how will I leave that to faith? Step into faith. Mm -hmm. The one who pushed you will do it. I know, I've authored a book. So when I see this book, I know the sleepless nights. I know the tiringness of waking up, jotting this book, just to make sure that this world will know there was a levy connect. You will not die without people celebrating. There must be a pause. Somebody has left us. Why? Because somebody stepped from fear to faith. So it's the same thing with destiny. Destiny is beckoning. It's beckoning. Everyone is talking about a dead economy in Kenya, but they're not looking at the dead aspirations of the people in Kenya. A just cell presidency will revive, resuscitate the aspirations of Kenyans, thereby awakening a dead economy. Mm -hmm. So destiny is beckoning. Kenya is a time for a new move, a new wave. Just cell is here, Nanambi Ambogi. Niaja? Tuendeni. So, if we can do that, that guides me. And a trip, a trip to the morgue, a trip to the morgue. I'd written a book called Real Man. Went around speaking in engagements, and uh, I'd written there by virtue of research that somebody knows where they are going a few seconds before they die. They know. And after this public engagement, uh, a guy comes and says, uh, Jassel, what you said is true. I said, what have I said? I've spoken for about one and a half hours. He says, the part of dying in your book is true. <laughs> Come take. And then, mm -hmm. what do you mean? I said, I don't tell uh, my leader, but I work in the mortuary. I work in the morgue. Can you come visit us? I'll show you how this thing is true. I said, yeah. We invite cars. You want to come up. I'm on Ginita Kwako na Juani Kakuku. And we are showing the morgue. It's funny you say that. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Ukinita, ukinita. I think it's good to shine a light on the back. Ukinita morgue. The back end of things. Yeah, yeah. I know what I'm going to expect. And mm. before then, I was always accustomed to the person I met before, mm. you know. I didn't you know want what to say about, them after. About, about the morgue. Mm. Uh, <laughs> so I went. I went. I went. And it was a four hour. Four hour trip. Mm. Arrival, kila kitu vile tunafanyi wangu. And then, at the end of the four hour trip, uh, the guy said, Reverend, you got tayari. Ebu mtayarisha, unajua kesho, anachukuliwa. I said, Reverend, leza ongea na ee. I saw. I went. Friji kafunguliwa. Nikasama, Reverend, talk to me. Role play, sasa. Talk to me. And I had a conversation with the reverend. And you know, I left that mug saying what? Let me tell you the truth. I would rather do whatever he pushes me. Let me use that analogy for today. Mm. To do than get stuck in fear. Because the world is yet to see. I love what D.L. Moody said, and I used to print it on the door of, my, of, of the bedroom door. D.L. Moody said, the world has yet to see what God can do with a man who has separated himself for the work of God. They used to say the presidency is a low calling. The preacher is high calling. Whether it is the Bill Gates or Reinhard Bonke, but times have changed. 
we left the we left the political scene. Somebody came in, and they are now, as Proverbs 29 verse 2 says, when the wicked rejoice, when the wicked reign, the people are in mourning. Mm -hmm. But when the righteous rejoice uh, in power, the people rejoice. The people rejoice yes. So we left that. Now we are realizing it is fighting this. So God has lifted people like us with the priestly and the kingly. And I said, I would rather be on the side of God because one, as Martin Luther King said, one man with God is a majority. Let's leave the rest to God. Let's do that. Do you have a parting statement for your people? I, it's over. It's over? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's over. It's Great. over. Yeah, yeah. This is it, Jaziel. After this, when I hit ground, that's no one sister. Let me address my people. Mm. <clears throat> this is a state of the nation address from Cast TV. Fellow Kenyans, time has come. And now is. We are faced with decision 2022. You have three choices at play. And History has taught us that if we keep repeating the same mistakes, expecting different results, then we are not only mad, but we are living in a mad society. I, just Yanja, I'm coming to you from today, hitting the ground running, and I'm requesting and I'm asking to be your leader, to bring servant leadership to the echelons of the presidency of this nation. And I believe that the destiny of Kenya is not only at stake economically, it's not only at stake politically, but also spiritually. There are things that the political class are dealing with that maybe it's time for a preacher to step into the arena. We have lawyers, presidents, political students, presidents. This time around, I believe a preacher can become a president. And like we've always espoused, Vita Zingine, Sisi Tundo Tunaweza. So as I come, I pray that I'll find favor with you as I have found favor with God. And that this year, Mambo Mapio, Mambo Fresh. Justin Njao, AKA Fadela. Fadela Mfadili Mwenyewe, Wainti ya Kenya. Zoya Raisu wako mapema. Asante. Well, Jaziel, wish you all the best out there. Thank you, sir. Thank you. God be with you. Ambassador to America. Ah, please. Yo, yo, yo. You keep telling these jobs of yours. No, no, you're chaweka. Uliyanda na CS. Yo, wajue, wajue. Yo, chaweka. Yo, chaweka. Uka nipeleka sijui. Ulipeleka wapi sports. Ah, ulikuwa foreign affairs. I love you. Lakini niliposoma hii kitabu. Nime, kusoma hii kitabu nikajua pana. Sasa, we ni US ambassador. Okay. Ah, kuna kwa ni kama. So, mtote una nakuja. Kama mdavadi na hao ingine. Waliambua, hii tusha yueka. Wajue, ambassador to the U.S. in your levy corners, to see some one. I tell me, ambassador. To see, 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 to Tell me, they are equal ambassador. Upper, 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 upper. There's no useless experience. We are just taking you to the next level. Yes, and I did that. Ah, stay tuned for Lea coming up uh, with Ilosu. Have a wonderful day, and uh, we'll see Jaziel. After the presidential campaigns, we'll kick come off. here in Utanuki another. We'll come here in another. Hey, hey, what's hey. it? Hey, hey, hey. I love you. Set us August. Set us August. Hey. Eh? August tenth. Nan lazima ni me kujala usbu ni kifikiria. So we're in Yangu Mbaka. We're August twenty second. Hmm. Where's the four CV to? So we're in. Ah, see me, the president. It's about August twenty second. It's about August twenty second. August twenty second. The year twenty twenty two. In my twenty second year of working with God. Lazima we go August twenty second. So sa. Cheers, bro. Asante, asante, asante. Good morning. Good day. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow.